my man got two jobs. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new, I'm sorry for my parents. <laughs> I'm cuter than this sometimes, you know, but also this is how I look at 3.30 in the morning. I don't know how you look at 3.30 in the morning. This is how I look. So it is actually Wednesday and I'm starting this vlog off a little later. Because for some reason, since like Sunday night, I've been so tired. No, Monday. I have been so tired, you guys, like sleeping all day. Like I woke up, you guys are not gonna believe what time it was, 10.30 p.m. Like I woke up, I kept waking up, going back to sleep, waking up, but when I finally woke up and got up and got some energy, it was 10.30 p.m. So I'm like, girl, you have got to do better. So I just got up, I did, I edited a video, I, and I'm about to print these labels out for this for these wigs. I had a wig sale on Friday, which typically I would try to get them out that same weekend, but it just didn't happen. Um, so I'm gonna print them out and package them and have them out by later today because I can't do it right now, but I can prep them. So as I'm sitting there, I'm filling my kitchen and I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, you have not done your hair in so long. Like my hair looks crazy underneath. These bonnets, wigs, hats, whatever I've been wearing. If you guys have been watching my videos, you've seen a hat or a wig on my head. So I'm actually gonna relax my hair later today. But before I do that, my scalp really needs some TLC, like for real. So what I'm gonna do is do like a pre, a pre push, a uh, pre push, sure, sure, sure. Pre, 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 now I'm just messing around. Pre poo treatment. So I use the Fable and Main hair oil and I just put it on my scalp. And I feel like my scalp needs that before I put anything on it because y'all, it looks crazy. And I'm gonna put this plastic cap on and leave it in overnight. Well, for the next few hours. And then proceed to relaxing my hair. That's just what I do. And do what you do and i'm gonna do what i do but i cannot continue like this like this looks like nothing in comparison to the back of my head this is this is me already exposing myself so laugh say what you want to say this is how i've been looking under the wigs like oh my gosh it's so dry so yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now so i actually i don't need to i do need to comb through it though even though you're not supposed to comb through your hair before a relaxer we're gonna do that real quick. I don't really have any plans this week. I just have content to do. That was really my plan for January is to like, you know, get on track with the content. Um, and also, I'm not combing from the root. I'm combing like the hair. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so I want to stay on track with the content. Um, the only thing I do have planned is I... It's my friend's birthday. Well, her birthday was today, but we're celebrating on Saturday. She's having like a... Like, like a cooking thing, like a cooking party. I can't explain it, but you guys will see. But that's the only thing I have planned this week. Other than that, I'm in the house. I've been detoxing. It's funny because I was just editing this vlog. Do you guys see how much hair is coming out on this freaking comb? It's funny because I was um just editing my vlog from the week of Christmas. And by the time you guys see this one, it will be up. As well as the one, the first week of January. But anyways... So I was editing in the vlog and I was eating so bad, you guys. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to Dunkin'. Oh, I'm going to Starbucks. Oh, I'm about to eat this freaking Chipotle. Oh, I'm about to eat this. I was just eating so bad. Oh, I'm about to eat nachos, tacos. Oh, I went out to eat. And I knew I was doing that because I knew I was detoxing this month. Um, so I'm giving myself one cheat day a week. With, yeah, one cheat day a week, which is realistic especially like trying to be social and stuff you know i have to be realistic um but i've actually been enjoying it. i've been cooking at home 
I feel like less bloated. I was even looking at, um, ooh, ooh, we, y'all. And I know somebody's gonna say, don't use this comb. But listen, this is what I got, okay? But anyways, um, I was looking, my face looked bloated, I look bloated, and I'm not skinny, um, but I've definitely, I'm not as bloated right now because the other day I looked and I just seemed a lot more like relaxed. You know, I didn't seem so like top heavy, like it's crazy what a few days will do because I think today is the 10th, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 10th or the 11th. And I actually did start detoxing on the first, I almost said the ninth, on the first. It's just a little update. Sorry for the cringe-worthy opening of this vlog. But listen, it keeps it real over here, okay? All I'm gonna do is drop this in my scalp. It's literally what you do so that my scalp won't be dry as hell. I really do like this oil. I feel like it absorbs nicely into the scalp. Like it actually absorbs into the scalp. It doesn't just run and drip and make a mess. Like my edges, what's going on? <gasps> but I will see you guys when the sun comes up because I'm setting my alarm to wake up at a decent hour because I can't continue my sleeping schedule like this. I literally slept like this yesterday too. so tired I did not go to bed last night I had like an hour of sleep and I got up and got some work done and I only took like a two-hour nap so I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna go to bed again because I am still tired but I was like girl get up because this chair is so squeaky I was like let me get up so that I'm not sleep so I'm about to clean up my area because I need to kind of get ready for tomorrow um, my friends having a like cooking class thing for her birthday it's really cute um so i'm doing her makeup in the morning and i need to be there by 12 as well so i need to get together and i had done my hair last night actually randomly and i want to change it i'm thinking of doing like a bust down middle part like 32 inches of that bootylicious bubble gum raspberry grape cherry can we get this honey bun i'm just lying oh Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to change my hair. Shouldn't take long though, but I do have to like, it doesn't even matter. Oh, do I have? <gasps> Anyways, so let me show you guys what I got in the mail yesterday because I just did a TikTok on it, but I'm going to let y'all know too. If you don't follow me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. My name's Tasha Washa. So you guys know Aaliyah J just came out with her jewelry line. It's called Karen and Rita. 
and I bought some things. My freaking camera's about to die. So annoying. So I got four pairs of earrings, and I'm gonna do a little quick try on for you guys. Um, because they're so cute. I love earrings. I feel like earrings just complete the look. Um, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but I like cute statement pieces, if that makes any sense. Um, so like if I wore these, I probably wouldn't wear any other accessories. I don't need to wear like earrings and necklace and bracelets and watch all at the same time. I literally, I'd be good with this. So these are the first pair of earrings. These are called Maxi Baby. Are these not so cute? Y'all have never seen me wear earrings like this. And I think it just gives, especially with like the headband, the whole like pushback look. Obviously not like this, but like it just gives like this like mod chic look. This makes me want to like just do more things out of my comfort zone. Like these are so freaking cute. And the fact that they're two different colors, like I live, I live, I live, I live. Get them. If you, if you're like, questioning should you get them i promise you when you put them on you're gonna be like oh, i'm not a drop earring girl and from this day moving forward i'm gonna be a drop earring girl because it looks so good especially with your hair like back it just get like get the hell out of here if i do a half up half down oh, y'all are not ready y'all are not ready um the next pair are these safety pin earrings these are called safety tip and they're literally like a bedazzled safety pin. Super cute. Like definitely a statement piece, but still dainty and minimal at the same time. Next pair is called Renee. This is a hoop earring. This is like my go-to type of earring. I typically will wear like a chunky small hoop um, or stud, but a chunky small hoop is my go-to. It's just very like classy. And you can see it even when your hair is down, it just like, Give. so I've never had a clear pair before but it's so cute and then it has a little bit of gold accents I love them I love all the earrings that I didn't think I wasn't gonna like them but I love them and lastly I have the it girl hoop it is definitely an it girl earring it's just a standard chunky gold hoop which is super cute and really lightweight it looks really heavy and chunky which I like that look but it doesn't feel like that this will definitely be my go to like it just is perfect i love it i love it i love it so if you guys have been debating if you guys want to um shop i would um shipping was fast my stuff got here whatever date that it says on the site like your delivery is expected is when it's going to get there there was no delay shipping was like less than a week i believe um and yeah so definitely shop you know what i'm saying get you some tings and I was against buying anything for the new year for real but accessories are something that I rotate a lot like if I buy a pair of earrings you are going to see those pair of earrings until I lose them or until they break I wear my jewelry every day for real so if I like a pair of earrings or a necklace I will wear it all the time I think you guys have seen that I don't really um I don't really be switching up my jewelry too, too much. Um, I do want to get more into it, but I feel like ain't nothing wrong with a little staple piece, you know? So those are the earrings that I got. I'm about to find some thread because I need to sew this lace together before I have a big hole in my other wig. Wash it and maybe put it on tonight so I don't have to wake up in the morning and do it because Christine's coming in the morning to get her makeup done. She's coming to my house because you guys know I'm off this month. But it's her birthday, so I gotta do her makeup. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some thread, get this wig, and go watch Velma. Have you guys watched Velma yet? I kind of like it. Call me childish. I mean, it's not childish because it's like inappropriate, but I like it. Also, this is the wig that I'm about to patch up. Yes, it's dirty, but I want to patch it up before I wash it because my nails be putting holes in the lace, which is what happened here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to patch this up because it doesn't seem that big. Oh, but baby, when it's on, it's like a huge hole. Like these little holes are okay, but these bigger ones. So I'm going to use this and my curved needle and hopefully this works. Good morning, guys. So, okay, it's not looking too bad. Um, 
I'm about to get ready. I did my hair last night, so that eliminates me rushing around. I honestly just have to do my makeup. And we're just putting on something casual because, again, we are just going to be cooking. Which, I don't know if I said this yesterday, but I realized after I did my hair that we're going to be cooking. So why would I put on a 30 to 30 town, 32 inch must down to cook food? But, yeah, that's just how I was feeling. So I'm about to straighten this real quick. Um... And then do my makeup. My makeup shouldn't take long. I'm gonna do a little quick face. I don't even know if I'm gonna wear lashes. And by that time, Christine should be here to get her makeup done. Um, I'm not even gonna do anything to my edges. I'm gonna just let it be. <laughs> because I don't have the time, baby. I got the time. I'm gonna just let my edges naturally be. So that's done. I'm just gonna tuck her behind the ear. I need to finish this before I leave the house. And have my peppermint tea i told you i was going to be taking it somebody had recommended it for my skin which i drink peppermint tea anyways but not like now like i make sure i drink it morning or night for sure i typically would drink like my stress tea or um ginger tea or something like that but now we're doing i'm not with metro anymore <laughs> i'm with atmt I just love this headband look. I'm obsessed. It helps for when I'm putting on my makeup, but I really like it. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed with um, the makeup that I have. I don't know what to use. Like, I'm going here with this e.l.f. primer today. It's like a lot thicker. As you guys can see, it's like tugging at my face more than the blue one, but I like it. I hate this chair, you see how it's going down? But I don't want to use my new chair because it's like white. <laughs> or beige, sorry. Do you guys see that? This is the one. If you don't know which one to get, this one or the blue one, get this. Well, yeah, I still get this one. A little nice to the mind, never hurt nobody. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the YSL primer in the center of my face. Oh, in the center of my face because it gives me that blurred look. On my chinny chin chin, I'm debating if I want to use Mario today or if I want to use my Chanel. Um, I have two seconds to figure it out. <laughs> I'm feeling Chanel today. I don't know. People keep saying I should be a bigger person. Who's going to worry about me when I'm hurt? Got one more time. Keep talking that. And I'm a wild up and go hard on it. I really like that song. And they don't give it enough credit. Why does my thing keep stopping? And put their hands on a do 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 if you don't want no beef. Them your home girl clothes. No we for the streets. So when you see me nigga don't speak. Hey, ready? Hello, this everyone. is the birthday girl. Say hello. Hi. Alright, she's you y'all will see her later. Okay. Y'all will see me later. Bye. <laughs> Bye girl. Um, let me know if you need anything when you get there. Y'all, this is a fit today. It looks childish. But listen, I I just can't right now. I can't. I got when I tell y'all What's that? What is that? When I tell y'all I'm so annoyed. Really? Anyway, so me and Jolene get here and you know the You're place. Gonna post it. I am gonna post it because I'm upset. <laughs> so we get here and the place that we're supposed to go, we cannot access and get into and I'm calling this girl. Like, where are you, 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 where are you? No answer, no nothing. This is why I don't take her nowhere. I don't ever take her nowhere. I, I don't do it. Oh, I, it's cold outside and it's windy. That's another part. My eye was running. Um, my hands are still cold. And I just... I don't like this energy. You know what I'm saying? Jillian? <laughs> don't piss me off. <laughs> So long story short, got dressed, got ready <laughs> to come to Pond City Market. I don't... I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good day. Y'all, let me tell you what happened earlier. So first of all, it is now 3.03. Oh, AM. AM, should I say. So let me pause this. So I... First of all, I woke up from a nap and I was starving because I didn't eat all day. Um... We went to that Chinese place at Pont City and I just, 
I picked at it. It was not good. So, well, to me, it wasn't like amazing. So whatever. Um, and I think I was just more so irritated. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I was just a lot more irritated than anything. But basically, I went to my friend's thing and we pull up. We, we had Ubered because like the parking was weird. So we pull up and I'm looking for her specific suite. Like, ooh, sorry. I'm eating. I made salmon and asparagus. I know it's late, y'all, but... Your girl's hungry. So we pull up and I could not find exactly where she was. Well, I knew where she was, but I had to be let in. So I called my friend like 10 times. I texted her, no answer, couldn't be let in. Obviously we stayed around, didn't see anybody to like let us in. I didn't know anybody else who was possibly there. So we went home. So when I came home, I literally took a shower and I went to sleep. And y'all know I told you um, Aunt Flo is here. So I was already just like over it. I woke up feeling nauseous anyways and like whatever. So I know I should not be eating this late. But y'all, I know I'm not going back to sleep anytime soon. So I'm going to just sit here and be hungry. Are you crazy? Let me explain to y'all why I don't ever get anything done or why I'm so inconsistent. So I just sat up here and edited this whole vlog. Mind you, luckily it was a shorter one. But as I was adding the music, which was the last thing that I was doing, it like crashed. Um, I think it's my hard drive. I don't know, but it like crashed and it could not save my document. So guess what I have to do again at four o'clock in the morning? I have to edit this because I want this to go up tomorrow. So this is what was happening all the time, especially last year. Let me clean this. I feel like it's foggy. This would happen a lot. And I was already not in the mood and didn't want to do anything. This is why you guys would get vlogs and stuff. Literally like a month later, weeks later, because like little stuff and it only happens with my it don't be happening with no other content but the vlogs that's really why i got beef with vlogs and i don't f with them like that like i just be like i'm cool on you <laughs> i'm cool but i'm gonna go ahead and finish this because it wasn't that it wasn't that long so i'm gonna be able to finish it but it's just like what the heck i could have been done when in my bed now i gotta be up until probably six Luckily, I'm in good spirits because, baby, if I was in a funk, if I was in a funk, I would have closed this computer and went to bed. But it doesn't hurt anybody but myself when I don't get stuff done. So that's goofy of me. Sorry if this is shaking. It's like not stable. But I just had to say something because I'm like, what? The, like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Y'all, I was just about to start editing again and I had deleted all my other projects. It's just on the timeline. It's there. I'm not going to question it. I'm about to add this music and save it. <laughs> I'm so happy. I was literally like, I'm going to get this done because it got to be done. But like, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, God. I tell you, only God. Like, for real. I'm actually going to show you guys too um, how to find music on SoundCloud because I have been getting so many questions on that which is crazy because i feel like my music is very mid i find it but it's mid because when i be listening to like kyra's vlogs Aaliyah's vlogs the music hits i'm like now where did y'all find that where did y'all find that but you know it's like an unwritten rule it's like an unwritten law unless you find the music yourself you don't like you don't share music like i will show you guys how to find music but we don't all need to have the same song there's so much music out there you have to just look for it. That's just what it is. So like we, if we ever have the same music, it's because we literally came across it. We don't be like, oh my God, here's this mix, here's that mix. I know it sounds weird, but it's like, you put so much into finding music that I'm telling you guys, you don't want to really share it. Y'all squealing. Cause I'm like, what the, I was like so sad. I was literally so sad. Like a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. I've like, learn like I be mad but I be like irritated by stuff but I really try not to let it get to me too much but all right well I'm gonna upload this and I'll talk to you later <laughs>
Cause you might witness coming up to truth and violence If you see me out in public, you don't know me, keep it silent In the petrol, my pussy be me, but outside I keep it quiet You know, let's be young, the law is all the lowest But you need to keep it better than nobody knows it I need to get off the combined Okay, are we are we good in the hood? Are we good? Hey guys, so today's Monday. Um and I just decided I need to get up and get some some work done. What's new, right? So yesterday you guys saw I made salmon burgers and I didn't really talk. I was just showing you guys. They were so good. I never made them like that before. I was thinking of just making the salmon patty and then like making the toppings but i just thought why not do it like that um and it was really good so you guys should try it you know what i'm saying i got the recipe off instagram and again i was gonna cut corners but i was like let me just do it correctly and it came out great so um i want to film a video i've been saying i was gonna do this since like the first week of january um of my 2022 favorites so i need to beat my face and get it together um so I'm going to do that and then I would like to take a picture today. I would like to take a picture today. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, let's, you know, I guess we can just kind of get ready together. Your best day is my worst day. I get green like Earth Day. 
You treat me like I'm born yesterday, you forgot my birthday You don't be scoring perfect, you don't be working like how we be working You play like rappers on Hershey's, boy that's what is worthless You get the message over and over like it was urgent And then act like you ain't hurting when you see me in person The only thing I did to end up here was put the work in And did it with a purpose why is my lace doing this? It's just embarrassing me at this point. I just don't understand why it's doing this. I just don't understand. In a picture, I could finesse the lace. Video, not so much. Okay, hopefully this is not too noticeable. It's literally like a ripple, like. What the hell do you have going on, Lacey Lace? Guys, so I finished my video and now I'm about to go meet Shanine so we can go take some pictures. Um, I actually really like my fit, but could I ever wear this out? No, because I have on this freaking micro mini skirt and there's a breeze tickling my booty and I'm not even outside yet. So we're gonna disregard that, but it's cute nonetheless. You guys will see it on Instagram or on TikTok. And I'm gonna try to take pictures of my camera today because it's nighttime and the nighttime pictures just look better on my camera. So we're gonna see how that goes, okay? So I will see y'all when I get back. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So um, today is Wednesday, okay? And I have work to do. I was gonna start my beauty room i know you guys are probably so tired of me but i was gonna start my beauty room but um i want to film this video and i'm going out later so today's just not the day for that because once i start that i want to finish that one day i'm not dragging that out so i don't want to half start it and then you know what i'm saying so we're just gonna do something else so um I planned on doing this video today anyways. Sorry if you guys hear that in the back. That's my, I'm about to make tea. I just took my vitamins, drink my water for the morning, all that. But anyways, I had this video planned, right? Because I got a wig in the mail. I was like, oh, I need to film this, this hair video. Um, and they sent the wig. And then they sent me an email and was like, oh, can you pick another wig? That's the wrong wig. And I'm like, what's wrong with this? This is fire. Like, this looks like the wig I had the other day, that highlighted one that I wore with the black dress. I like this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what's wrong with it? <clears throat> They're like, basically the company was like, you just did a video with that kind of wig. Like, we don't think that it'll do well. And I was like, well, I can just do like a different kind of video. I would prefer to do a get ready with me type of video. So let's do that they're like great perfect so but they was like sending me other wigs they sent me like this purple and pink highlighter wig uh this like curly um goldish blonde i said oh baby uh, -uh. let's just make this work y'all don't need to waste time and money sending me another wig i like this we can make this work so i'm about to do this so that's why i didn't bleach the knots last night because i didn't know if i needed to do anything with this or if i just need to toss this to the side but we're about to get some work done. So I'm about to bleach these knots. And um, yeah, so it's so funny. Speaking of hair companies, right? Let me get this spray bottle. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call you back in a few, okay? Bye. Yeah, I would have preferred to do this yesterday so I could just wake up and put it on, but it's gonna take me like an hour to prep this, bleaching, plucking, and I'm gonna toss this in the dryer. My hair dryer, I said dryer before and I think y'all meant, I think y'all think I meant my clothes dryer. No, I meant my hair dryer. It's a hooded dryer and I just like lay it flat and put a towel over it so it traps the heat and it dries my wig in like 30 minutes, completely. So anyways, um, I've never used this bleach before. I've had it for a while, so I'm really nervous. <sighs> I just, this is all I have. I have this and another one. And my other bleach is like really expensive. That's for like actually dying hair. So we're not even gonna play with that. Uh, oh, this feels so dry. Oh my God, it's like a chalkboard. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, let me tell y'all something so funny that happened, right? So, 
I have been just in my own zone, doing my own thing, as you guys can see. Um, and just putting out content that I want to do and I'm enjoying doing, right? So the other day, a hair company reached out to me. I'm sorry, my phone is going off. Every time I'm about to start doing something, my phone goes off. Like it's actually the most annoying thing. So anyways, this hair company reached out to me. I've worked with them before. And I'm just saying this to like, to like kind of bring light because I feel like this is something that we don't talk about a lot. And a lot of new creators, black creators, need to stand their ground. And yeah. So I work, you guys know I worked with a bunch of hair companies before. Like this is not new to me, right? So this hair company reached out to me and they asked me to do a hair video. I said, sure. So I sent them over my rate. I literally have like a, a pre-typed up copy and paste. It's the same thing. Like it makes my life easier. So they asked me my rate. I sent it over and then they were like, oh, like how much for Instagram promotion? And they were like very specific. They're like, we want this and that. And I'm like, okay, like I don't really do the whole Instagram hair thing. But like, I was like, okay, this is how much it is. So they respond back with a freaking, they respond back to my rate for Instagram with a laughing emoji via email now, a laughing emoji and say, sorry, that's beyond our budget. We were thinking a hundred dollars. And I'm like, yeah, no, <laughs> I didn't even acknowledge that. I said, okay, we can just uh, move forward with the YouTube thing. Cause I didn't really want to do the Instagram thing anyway. Cause the thing is, I'm just like ranting right now, but the thing is with Instagram, I don't like to be pressured to have to post. I'm gonna post when I post. Like I just haven't been in like the picture taking mood. Like I take, when I take pictures, I'm in the mood basically, you know? So I don't want to have to feel committed to take, oh my God, this is so dry. Oh, it's like making me cringe. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. Um, I don't want to have to be committed to taking a picture and I don't feel like it. So if I have to take a picture, you need to pay me. Okay. That's how that goes. That's how I really feel. Okay. So anyways, um, so yeah, so I'm just like, um, we can move forward with, you know, the YouTube collaboration, whatever. And they're like, okay. And I don't say anything because there's nothing else to say. Then they come back a few minutes later and they basically said, because I wouldn't give them the $100 rate for the Instagram promotion, that they're just gonna cancel the whole, um, Hold on, you guys. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Ugh. And this powder is like so fine. Uh -huh. It feels like I'm like clawing a, a, a. Oh, I can't even think. A chalkboard, you guys. I'm so sorry. So, anyways, they basically said that they were just gonna cancel the whole entire collaboration because. I wouldn't offer them the $100 for Instagram. And I didn't respond. You know me, sometimes I'd be snappy or whatever, but I've been in such a good mood lately. Like I don't even, I don't even give a damn. And it's not this hair company, by the way. I just want to make that clear because I'm just talking about it because I'm doing this and I'm sitting here. But um, basically what I'm trying to say is like, you know, with these hair companies, it's good money, it's easy money, it's fast money, it's hair. What girl doesn't like to get their hair done or do their hair or get free hair? You know what I'm saying? It's a very easy thing. But the thing is, I think that it's so saturated to the point where like a lot of, I don't even want to say influencers because this is the thing with these hair companies, they're finding everybody who's basically going viral or who post and they're offering them hair and those girls are like yeah I'll take the free wig and they don't charge them or they're like yeah I'll take the free wig and a hundred dollars for a post because in the bigger picture of things hold on my camera's about to die before I continue they ignore those vases in the back my mama was doing stuff in my house yesterday that is not supposed to be there but anyways so like I was saying um so with these hair companies you know they're typically based in china right they they don't value you as an influencer i'm just gonna tell you that now we if you're a uh 
what's the word? If you're new to content creating, one of the first paid promotions you'll ever get in, in your black most likely is going to be a hair sponsorship. And you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I just got this freaking $400 wig for free and they're gonna pay me a hundred dollars or 200 or 300 whatever y'all accept um that is what they will pay <laughs> um so yeah so this is the thing they don't value you as an influencer if you are willing to take your content creating or influencing career seriously Hair companies are not gonna take you seriously. You're gonna be frustrated. When I first started doing hair videos, they were fun and then I had this like wave where I was so frustrated and now I feel like I have it under control and nothing bothers me. I just literally don't care. But the thing is, they don't, when I say they don't value you as an influencer, hair companies will send anybody a wig. Think about all the girlies, and this is no shade, I love that they're getting the bag and whatever, but think about the girlies on TikTok who go viral, and all of a sudden they're hair, they're hair influencers now. You're not a hair, you went viral for something stupid, and they caught wind of that, and they're sending you wigs, and now you're accepting it. So let me tell you what the issue, where the issue comes in. These girls are not influencers. And again, I'm not bashing anybody at all. But these girls are not influencers. So these girls are most likely just accepting free wigs with no form of payment, or they're accepting the wig with a very, very low form of payment. So when someone like me or you comes along that's serious about our content creating and we're giving them a standard rate, and they're like, ha, no, I can get miss so-and-so with a million followers to promote this and not you you know what i'm saying it just it basically what i'm trying to say is the hair industry is very saturated and don't get me wrong i actually really enjoy doing um hair videos if it was not for these hair sponsors baby i would not know how to do my own hair like i am so grateful and i'm grateful that i'm able to like switch up my hair because i've always loved to switch my hair i'm grateful that i can try different things you know what i'm saying teach you guys things like that's all great but i'm getting to a point where i'm like i'm just taking control let me just say that so i'm just doing my own thing I always get like DMs asking like how you guys should respond to, you know, hair sponsorships or whatever. I'm just going to say this, charge your worth. I feel like if we all stand our ground and start charging what we want to charge, they're going to pay it. These hair companies are making bank off of us, like money. People buy hair every day, every single day. The hair business is a multi-billion dollar industry. Okay, they're making the money, especially in China. They are making so much money and they want to pay you crumbs. They want to pay you less than what the wig is worth because they feel like the wig is worth so much value that they should cut your pay. No, I actually have to promote the wig. So take your L with sending me this wig and pay me my money. Um, but yeah, so I just think everybody should start charging their worth. Um, oh, I do not like this. I'm so nervous about this. I never use this kind of um, developer. But um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people are lowballing themselves. So it's taking away from a lot of us. And that's why you see when the influencer gets bigger, they start doing less hair sponsorships and or none because it's not worth it. You're, you're making more money doing other stuff than hair. And, and if you think about it, oh my God, what is... I don't like this bleach, y'all. That's how I feel. I'm not budging on my price no more. My man got two jobs. <laughs> Me being the man. <laughs> no, but seriously. I don't know why I bought this. I'd be just be buying stupid stuff. But yeah, that was my mini rant of the morning. I'm going to let this sit on here. Well, I'm going to have to watch it because I've never worked with this. I feel like it's going to take longer to bleach. This talking about it, you, you use less powder. I had to use so much powder. Normally I only have to use two scoops. I literally use like five scoops. That was dumb. But yeah, I'm about to drink my tea. I just poured my tea, um, clean this up. <laughs> After I talk to you guys, I went to sleep. And I took a very long nap because we decided to do karaoke another night. So, 
I'm just gonna finish prepping this wig along with two more that I just got in the mail so that I'm cool for the rest of the week and I can just, whichever wig I feel like putting on, I can just put on however I'm feeling. So I'm gonna finish prepping this one. Um, and like straight, I need to blow dry it first. Oh, so I'll see you tomorrow, you know? I'm getting my day started, it's a little late, but getting it started, okay? So I actually left the house earlier because I had to run out and I run a few errands. And while I was out, I went to Sally's, Walmart, and Target. So I picked up a few things. I was really looking for a black wig cap because I didn't want to drive all the way to the beauty supply store. Nowhere had one. We have a beauty supply store over here. It was closed, like a black beauty supply store over here. It was closed. Sally's didn't have it. Walmart didn't have it. That's why I went to Walmart because my Google search said that Walmart had them. And then I just went to Target because I wanted to pick up the body wash that Kyra's been talking about. It's like a men's body wash. It was sold out. So anyways, when I went to Walmart, I actually, oh my gosh, I want to take this off. I just used it, but I'm going to show you guys anyways because I just got off the shower and I'm about to do my skincare. It was a little wet because I just used them. But um, I had to stock up on my Taraji products. I got the scrub and this is the vanilla set. And then I got the body conditioner but this is in ginger i don't think they make the body conditioner in vanilla so i just get ginger because the formula of this is amazing i love a body conditioner personally if you haven't tried it try it i've tried a few um and that one is definitely my favorite like i feel like it really makes my skin soft and supple even my little leg hairs be softer after okay so i really like that and then um i needed some more shampoo and I just got this one. I've used this before, but this was literally $4 for both of these. They were on sale. So I got this to wash my wigs because I'm going to be coloring a few wigs in the next few days. For real this time. Uh, because I have some wigs that I started coloring like last year or the year before. And I didn't finish. So I'm going to finish them. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I also picked up this... Um, let me see how it comes out. This Dove Hair Therapy Breakage Remedy. So I came across a video. Oh, it's a spray. Okay, good. So I came across a video um, yesterday while I was scrolling on either Instagram or TikTok. Don't remember. But the person coloring their hair sprayed it with this K18 product. And I looked at the K18 and you know, I almost spent on Colleen. But it was $17. Sorry, not $17. $75 for like this leave-in treatment. So I picked up a few different ones just to see if the technique's gonna work. So basically what you do is um, you spray the hair with like a leave-in or like keratin, anti-breakage, some kind of like intensive treatment. You spray the hair with that before dyeing the hair, like before using the bleach and developer and all that. And it kind of saves the hair, especially your weave. The weave be breaking easily. So. I'm just trying to figure out new and better ways to color my hair. So I picked up this one because this one was like two or three dollars. Um, so I don't really know what this is, child. But I'm guessing it's the same thing because I looked up the the K18, which I'm gonna get. I just didn't feel like going to Sephora. And I know that if I do show you guys this technique and it works, you're probably gonna want an alternative to a $75 product. So when I went to Target, I actually picked this one up. This is a Tresemme Keratin Repair Leave-In Treatment. And then they had this one, which is the Beauty Full Strength Leave-In Treatment. So this one claims to have 88% less split ends. This one claims to have 99% less hair on your brush. So I got both. These were actually on sale as well. This one was $4 and this one was $3. So I got three different products to test out for fraction of the price of the other one. So we're going to see, and it's way more product because the other one is like half, like half this size. So we're going to see. Um, that's what I'm here for. I'm the test dummy to try out all the products. Okay, that's why I'm here. And then I needed bleach to dye the hair. So I really like this one, the blonde. Brilliant is really good, is that Sally? So that's what I picked up today, guys. That's all I got. Teeth are brushed and I'm gonna do a quick little daytime skin routine. I'm not leaving the house. 
I just gotta get some work done. So I'm gonna use the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. Pretty much rotate my toners. I haven't found one that I feel like so amazing that I need to stick to it yet. So I'm rotating between like three right now. And I do wash my face in the shower too with my Cetaphil wash. See, no matter how clean you think your face is, toner will humble you. Then I go in with my essence. This is a snail mucin. I love this stuff. And it's like super slimy, but it absorbs really nice into the skin. It doesn't just like sit. Y'all, I have been wanting to shave my face, but I'm so scared. I really want to. I feel like it will be a nice, smooth finish. So now I'm going to go on with this nice set of my serum by Good Molecules. I know a lot of you guys recommended the dark spot serum. And you guys, I used it and... I didn't really care for it, honestly. Um, niacinamide pretty much um, helps with texture and gives you kind of a glow. So I've just been rolling with that. But I do like this serum. I like good molecules though. And today I'm gonna use my Fenty, why is this coming out? Dark Spot Serum. This also has niacinamide in it as well. I just really like using niacinamide products before doing my makeup. It just makes my base really smooth and it just absorbs really nicely into the skin. Your skincare has to kind of go based on what you're doing. So like if I wasn't wearing makeup, I wouldn't mind my like using like thicker products or something, but I just need something that's gonna be light and absorb nicely into the skin and not like beat up under my makeup because there are some products that I have that if I put makeup on or rub my face too much, it will start to like beat up. And I do not like that, so. And I'm gonna be using the Olay Hankerson Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. And I didn't think I used it this much, but I've used quite a lot. And I didn't get this that long ago. I think I got this like a few months, like maybe November. But the thing is I rotate my moisturizers. I definitely don't use this every day, but I guess I like it. It's cute. I always do my my skincare first and then I'll do my hair. So my skincare literally penetrates my skin before putting on my makeup. So I don't ever just do my skincare and then put on makeup. If I'm ever in a rush where I don't have that like 30 minutes to an hour for my skincare to absorb into my skin, um, I would just do moisturizer. I'll skip all this and I'll just do moisturizer and do my makeup because it's not going to be effective if I don't let it, you know, do its job. So I keep feeling something on my cheek. I've got pimples coming up. And then I'm going to do a little bit of this um, Elemis Superfood Oil at night. Oh, baby, I lather this up, but because I'm going to be wearing makeup, I just do a very light amount. Now I'm gonna use the lip balm. My sister had got me this set for Christmas by NCLA Beauty, and it has a scrub and the lip balm. I really like it. I've been using it, as you can see. Um, it's cool. It's not like super hydrating, but it feels nice on the lips. And yeah, now I'm gonna get some work done. So I'm gonna holla at y'all later. Y'all, I... Forgot to come back and show you guys my look, but I finished everything, okay? And I can't find my spray bottle with water, so I'm just using a conditioner mist to take this off. And I don't use glue, so if you use glue, this is not gonna work for you, babe. But look at that. You can see my bed, no, it's not me, because I was just in it, baby. I was just in it. But, um, I'm gonna be using this um, cleansing balm. It's all right. I think I showed it to you guys in my last vlog. And, oh, and it's just okay. Um, it gets the job done, but the Elemis one, way better. And then I used these two. 
I've really been liking my Cetaphil. It's almost done. And I've been using it since like November. And I feel like it's doing me pretty well. I actually think I'm gonna use my Tatcha mask tonight. I love this. I need to re-up on this. Um, but I have enough to do one more um, layer. So I'm gonna just put this on. This is like a great brightening mask. So yeah, I'm about to chill out, scroll on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all of the above for about 15 to 20 minutes and then wash this off. Okay, so I took the mask off and now I'm about to use these Elemis resurfacing pads. Um, I'm not sure what's really in here. It's not a good thing now, is it? But it's like kind of like the Dr. Gross pad. But I like these better because you guys, the Dr. Gross ones break me out. I've tried both formulas, the regular and the extra strength, and they both break me out. But this is the same concept just a lot better so of course i'm gonna go in with my essence now that i've used the little pads and i just can't live without this i don't even know if this is doing anything to my face but i like it <laughs> next i'm gonna go in with this nice sidewai i like using this at night now i'm gonna go in with my murad um dark spot corrector but I only put that on my chin area because I feel like I'm already putting too much on my face so I just want to put that right here and I'm going to use my Sunday Riley um, vitamin C serum and put that all over and this just gives me an overall brightening look so now I'm going to go on with this vitamin B night mask by pharmacy it has nice cinnamon in it as well. And I'm really trying to work on my texture. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin. I just have spots. So I really do feel like it's working. Um, a lot of my texture is on my chin. And that is hormonal. I'd rather it be there because it's less noticeable when I do my makeup and look at you straight forward. When I go like this, you can see it versus it being like on my cheeks or something. And lastly, I'm going to lock that in with my Elemis Superfood Oil. It just locks everything in and gives me that extra moisture. Ooh. And if you rub your extra skincare in your hands, you will have youthful hands, honey. And it's time to wrap my hair. So normally, at this point, I would spray my hair with my Bondi Boost um, Intensive Spray, but I did that earlier before I put on my wig, so I don't need to do it twice today. And that's it, you guys. I'm ready for bed. Oh my gosh. My skin looks so supple. And even, like, I don't feel any texture. Like, I don't feel rough texture on my chin. I feel more, like, my ingrowns, you know, but not like roughness. Does that make any sense? So yeah, this is the nighttime routine. Hope you guys like. Let me know if you guys have any tips or if I helped you guys. Um, yeah, I think I am going to end this vlog and, and I'm going to start over tomorrow. So bye. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video or my next vlog or whatever. So bye.